Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to Alternate Universe Golden Sun. The one where the menus are all the standard color. I just finished fighting Sathros after totally speedrunning through a good chunk of the game beforehand. And I came here, here first before going to Tret, among other things. This time around... I'm here this time around to show you basically everything that everything that we missed in the lost episode 15. Uh which is going to take a little while, but is going to happen. Uh first thing is first. We are in here, which has people in it. Our fountain is back. They say these waters can heal all that lives. Which is Oh wait. Also, where I don't have mind control binded to my shortcut, apparently. But, as I was saying... Also, where... We do this! Ta-da! We got Hermes Water. Which is good, because that's sort of important. We don't have to fear it any academic as long as we have our fountain. Good thing too. We are going to run straight down to Tret, but there's two things I want to do here first. The first one is actually visiting the item and weapon shop. Now, I'm not going to show you everything that I bought last time because, for one thing, I don't think I have the money for it. And for another thing, well, I don't really remember anyway. What I am going to do, however, uh, wrong one. There is one thing in particular though that I do want to bring your attention to here. Namely, this thing. It's a staff. It's unleash will seal the target from using synergy sometimes. And you should buy it. Uh, which I am doing right now. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Incidentally, this is also the one where I'm selling a lot of extra artifacts. Like game tickets. Uh. And even the water of life. Because it's worth a lot of money. Uh, and frankly, this saves me time from having to grind. Anyway, though. Anyway, I'm going to buy stuff off screen because I'm going to need it to do the rest of this episode. Oh yeah, Barrett also, or Barrett, Garrett also ended up with the bandit sword in this run, which is really a shame because let me tell you, let me tell you, Sazros is no picnic. When you're lo when you are have an average level of ten or less, which I currently do, and that's just made that much worse by having this thing. Uh, anyway, anyway, there's one more thing I want to show in ML. Then I will cut over to Tret, basically, <laughs> because we're gonna be in Tret for a while. It's gonna it's gonna take a while, so. Maya! We were worried that you wouldn't come back. I'm so sorry, you two. Maya, we have a problem. The Mercury Lighthouse, it's been lit! Yep. What's the matter? You look strange today, Maya. I... how should I tell you? You have something to say? What is it? Well, I... uh... I... I'll be joining Isaac on his quest. It's very hard for me to leave you, 
but it's to... Or, but it's the lighthouse. What? You said the world would be in danger if the lighthouse is lit, right? Is that why you're leaving? To protect the world? Yes, that's right. Then there's nothing we can do. We won't try to stop you then. After all, you are, are trying to protect the Mercury Clan. Hmm. Oh, th these kids are members of the Mercury Clan. I did not even know, freaking know that. It sort of threw me off what with the not having teal hair. Um, <laughs> go figure. But you know, that it's, it makes sense. Okay, I'll leave the village in your hands, Megan, Justin. We can leave without any worries now. Hello, we are at the Billabin Barricade, which is not actually Tret yet. But, we're here first because we need to do something here. Namely, hey look, the trees fell down! This happens in the real world as well as the alternate world. After you fix the lighthouse. Uh, that is still not bound to mind read. However, <laughs> this tree over here, if we... Let's go ahead and set this. She'll be swept downstream if she isn't pulled to shore. Ah, help! Anyone, please help! Don't mind if I do. Thank you, you saved me from being washed downstream! Indeed we did, and had we not saved her, uh, well... Let me put it this way, you'll find out what happens if we... What happens when you do save her, which you get something for saving her. And bad stuff happen if you, if you don't. Nothing you can't nothing you can't live without. But come on, save her. Anyway, with that said, I'm gonna cut here in, again in a minute because we need to go through the all the log puzzles in here again. And I'm not showing that on the screen again because it'll take too long. Before I do that, though, as you may have noticed earlier, if you're paying astute, there's something else special about this alternate world. Namely, with the exception of Garrett, everyone is using Ginny that is, does not match their element. That is because, well, first of all, it's a lot easier to speedrun if I've, if you can use Ivan for healing, to be honest. Uh, and second of all, second of all, the import other important thing is, since I had to redo this anyway, I thought I would take the opportunity to show you some synergy that I otherwise wouldn't have access to, because you only get it by mixing Genie like this. I won't be able to show all the synergy I want, like, I really wanted to show Gaia in particular, but for that, the best way to get Gaia is to take a- is to take, uh, Jupiter's Genie and put them on Isaac. But obviously I'm not doing that. But, in any case, on we go. I'll see you at Tret. And we're in Tret Tree. Huzzah! Now, before I go any further, there's something I should show you. One of the benefits of this alternate world is that we have access to the Avoid Synergy, which is a field-only synergy that, well, you can see right here, it makes you encounter less monsters. Which in this game you could only get it by having a defender, which you I believe you can turn both Isaac and Garrett into defenders by giving them uh, water, enough water uh, or Mercury Genie. In the sequel, you get a Mercury uh, adept who can use avoid by default, but this isn't the sequel. Uh, let's see, we are actually. Was there anything over here? I don't recall. Uh, there wasn't. Okay then. 
Okay then, up we go. And yeah, as you can probably already notice, because we used a void, at least until it wears off, we are basically not encountering any monsters. Because we... I want to say the way a void works is... It's sort of like a repel in Pokemon, in that it takes your level and it uses that as a basis for whether or not you should, uh... If you outlevel your enemies, you won't run into them, basically. Uh... I don't need to get this box. I can skip it. I got it in the real world. The alternate world can skip things like that. Uh, but what it can't do is skip Ginny. So... Maya has Plasma and Impact, but she also has Prism, which is an Ice spell that is... well, you'll see. Ivan has Bolt and Flash Bolt, which are basically the wind equivalent of the Spire Cell Earth spell, but Ivan only has access to them when he goes cross uh, element like this. He also has the Growth, and if he was high enough level, this would turn into more spells as well. So let's use Growth in battle. Isaac has Cure Poison and Ply, but also Thorn, which is sort of very, quite similar to Growth, actually, but you'll see. And Garrett doesn't have, only has Fire. The thing is, fi the, most of the cross-class stuff with Fire is not actually very interesting. If you start getting making really complex, uh, some of the more complex classes use Fire, and those are worth getting. But I don't have enough uh, Ginny to use those right now, so not going to be showing those off. Yep, we hit him with a huge ball of ice. And Bramble and Thorn. The power of synergy. Again, I would really like to have shown Gaia, but the thing is, with anything that can use Gaia is a caster based, which is more like Ivan and Maya than is Isaac and Garrett. And Isaac and Garrett have a predisposition towards caster based because all their equipment, or sorry, towards combat based, because all their equipment makes them far more physically stronger as opposed to elementally inclined. Which means that you are better off give, making them classes um, w which focus more on physical power than on magic. Plus, al plus also, Paladin is just really good because it has a... Uh, because it has the thingy. Uh, <laughs> because it has Ply on Isaac. And actually, if we had more... The quickest way to get revive, the synergy, is to turn is is to put water uh, Ginny on Isaac. I don't remember how many you need exactly, but you need less wa uh, water. You need less Mercury Ginny on Isaac to get revive than you do Venus. In any case, let's fight us a Ginny. Prism. Growth, Thorn, and Volcano. And hopefully it doesn't run away. Although we seem to have snuck up on it, so... We'll probably be fine. Another one of the side benefits of doing it this way is Maya is actually really fast right now because of Jubilee on her. Oh hey, I just got Cure Well. Cool. <laughs> so, with my party set up this way, Isaac isn't as fast as before, but he's still faster than Maya was. And Maya is super fast because of her Ginny. Tada! Doesn't actually learn any new spells. Yeah, this one's a little bit lame. Uh, you know, actually, 
this gives you Gaia. But... Is that actually worthwhile? Is the question. Well, I want to show Gaia, so I guess it is. Let's just mix things around more. Because why not? Froth is new. Um, and... Oh, wait. There we go. Froth is new, and you don't have anything new. You're basically the same thing as Maya was before. Let's see... This is so weird! Sure, let's do this, though. Because why not? Trent is not very hard to beat. At all. So, I'm not really worried about him. Particularly at this time, because now that I've gone through this a few times, I can say with some degree of confidence that you are intended to uh, fight the, uh, what's it called? Um, you're intended to go through Tret Tree first and then do the lighthouse and then come back to Tret Tree. That's, that said, since in another world, I went straight to the Mercury Lighthouse without even ever coming to Kolima. Well, Tret Tree is going to be a lot e easier for me to... Actually, I say that, but I'm a significantly lower level than I am in my original one. Or I was. At least a few levels lower. Still, Tret Tree is not very hard to beat with four people. Now, here's the trick to... Get down here. Ta-da! The trick. And we fall into the middle of everything. Ta-da! Okay. Now, let's go fight us a tree. Home! You! You hope to find my kindly self! Fools! You should never have come here! And now, you shall never leave! Your powers protected you in the forest, but now you are in the heart of my power. Here you will all become trees, and you'll wither with the rest of us. And it's a giant floating head trap. And we're gonna do some funny shit to it, basically. Uh, plasma, and I can u actually use impact because I'm not going to use plasma, or I'm only going to do this once probably. I just want to show Gaia. Gaia is the Gaia line of synergy is basically the. I want to say, unless you can't, not counting physical based synergy like Ragnarok, Ga the Gaia line is probably the strongest, at least for Venus. It's, it's it's a big deal. Um, Froth is not, but we'll do it anyway. And Volcano. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Froth is kind of meh. I just, I just set it up so that I could show it once. Oh well. Um, Plasma. Actually, let's try that. I want the guy might actually be more effective on Tret. I'm not sure. Uh, no, physical attacking is still stronger. Hmm. I know you can. He can hit. I'm pretty sure he has a oh, synergy one better than Growth. But I haven't actually seen him use it recently, so yeah, I think he does anyway. But whatever, it's not important. It's really not. Even if he does, he is at this point he's really sort of a pushover. He just wasn't really built to with four players in mind.
or for, uh, yeah, that's basically it. It wasn't built with four players in mind. At this point, we have much better equipment and are a higher level and have a whole extra party member compared to how you're intended to fight Tret. So we sort of just stomp on him. A condition that lasts for about all of until Tret is killed. Let me tell you. But, you know, it's another world, so we're allowed to stomp on him. Implying I didn't stomp on him even harder in the real world. Anyway. No, don't use water. Use plasma. And Gaia. Actually, no attack. Uh, honestly, you should probably just attack as well. <laughs> And Volcano. And he's dead! Woohoo! Level 10! Oi. Do you have no idea how hard it was to be Satros? We're at this low level. Oh, um... What has happened to me? Was I? I see. My heart was all but lost in my rage. And you defeated the evil within me. I thank you. I could not leave this world with so much evil in my heart. I am now free to leave the world without regret. Goodbye, great warriors. Hey, wait a minute. You can't let Tret die like this. That's right, Isaac. We still need his help. What? Why have you not left me to my dying? Do you need something? Yes. I turned the people of Kolima into trees? Home! I must release them before they die with the forest. I cannot do it. My power no longer reaches Kolima. People of Kolima, forgive me. Tret's too weak. He doesn't have the power to save Kolima. No, we have to heal him. We can't let the people of Kolima die with the forest. Every life in Kolima depends on us. We have to restore Tret and save the people of Kolima. Let's go, Isaac. Okay, um, I'm just gonna, cause this is, cause with mix and matching, this is actually a better setup. Uh, so, not, oh I, dude, not that it really matters at this point, but you know, I'm gonna keep this file. I may not use it again, in fact, hopefully I won't need to use it again, but I'm gonna keep it just in case. And who knows, I might do more in other world stuff just to show off more synergy. It's possible. Anyway. But we still have one more thing we need to do this time around. We must save the Great Tret Tree. With the water of Hermes, the healing waters that can cure anything that's alive. I feel a great power spreading through me! Boom! Life flows again within me! Tret. As you have recovered, so has our forest. I am sorry to have worried you so, Laurel. 
And you young ones, do you have a favor to ask of me? Yes. Yes, Tret. You must return the people of Kolima into humans. Once again. Close enough. Yes, that's right! I must hurry! That should do it! The people of Kolima are cursed no more! Tret did not always possess this horrible power. It only started when those strange gemstones fell from the sky! Gems from the sky? Yes, Garrett. Don't be an idiot. Oh wait, no. Is alternate- yeah, who am I kidding? Alternate Isaac is probably just as nasty as Garrett as real world Isaac. <laughs> anyway. You really think Sunu Stones caused all this trouble? Of course they caused all the trouble, Garrett. Seriously. I was indeed angry that the people had laid waste to my forest! They'd even taken their axes to me! Then those gems fell into my branches. Then all of a sudden, my fury overwhelmed me, and I was lost in anger. The gem reached me when I was filled with sorrow. Our actions spoke our heart's desires, but we had no idea. Those gems twisted my anger into a force beyond my control! Have any of the saplings been transformed by those stones, Tret? No! Only the elder trees were affected by the falling synergy stones! There are others that ha this happened to? So the same thing could happen elsewhere. You must have fought many monsters on your way here. Those monsters, maybe they were just animals that were... Once they were pure of heart! Boom! Those gems have brought a great evil into the world! Oh, Laurel, you were given powers too? Different from my own, but stemming from the same source! Any- there we go. Laurel, what in the world are you doing? Wait! You shall soon see! What did you see, Laurel? It's true. Even the animals have become monsters. And belong er, and beyond the river. The river that feeds our forest. Yes, an evil forest has risen up to the south of the river. Will you be heading south across the river? Yes, we will. That area will only grow more dangerous as time passes. You, you must hurry! Go! Quickly! I owe you a great debt, and you have saved Kolima, the forest, and me! May your roots dig deep and your branches reach high. Which I said last time, not that you would know, but... That is a wonderful saying for a tree. Uh, and with that, we have completed the Another World segment. At least for now, and hopefully forever. At least by necessity. Um, do I still have escape? I do! So, until... Probably right now, because I'm gonna... My uploading with this episode is gonna be really weird. Uh... In any case, until whenever the hell the next time is, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun Another World with Chaos Blue, and have a nice day.